Google Compute Engine enables you to deploy updates to virtual machine instances in managed instance groups using two different methods. One, rolling update, incrementally deploys updates in all the VMs of the MIG. Two, canary deployment, deploys updates to the subset of VMs in the MIG. This enables you to taste the update on some VMs before the update is deployed on all the VMs. In this video, we will focus on how to perform rolling update to our MIG. MIGs support two types of update modes. First, automatic or proactive. In this mode, you can roll out new configurations to all or to a subset of the instances automatically in IMIG. Here are some advantages of proactive mode. No manual intervention is required. You can automate rollouts partially with proactive mode, which allows you to perform testing similar to canary update. Here is a quick tip. Choose automatic mode when you want to deploy a critical update across instances immediately. Second, selective or opportunistic. You can manually start the update on selected instances or when a new instance are created. Now some advantages of selective mode. You will have a better control on the timing and the sequence of the update. And here's some tip for you. Choose selective mode when you want to perform a pre-planned update during a maintenance period so that the impacts such as performance degradation or downtime can be avoided for you. Now let's look at how to perform a rolling update in proactive mode. In your Google Cloud Console, go to Compute Engine and Instance Groups. In our project, there are two instance groups, rolling update proactive mode, rolling update opportunistic mode. Each of these MIGs have three instances. Other than that, we also have two templates which we use to create and update the MIGs. Application version v1, this is the current version deployed. Application version v2. This is the new version we want to upgrade the VMs in our MIG. Select the MIG that you want to update. In this example, we will update rolling update proactive mode MIG. Click update VMs. Under new template, click the drop down list to select the new template to update to. We will select application version v2. Under Update Configuration, expand the Selection menu, select Automatic as the update type to trigger Proactive Mode. With Proactive Mode, you can control the disruption level during rolling update by selecting the appropriate value from the drop-down list in Action Allowed to Update VMs. With each option, there are different instance properties which will be updated. Select the option that works for your requirement. We will select Replace which replaces the current instances with new instance. Next one is maximum search. It indicates the number of VMs that you want to create above the target size before deleting the old instances. Note, the additional instances will temporarily run at the same time as the instances it replaces. Setting up a higher value for maximum search can improve the speed of the update. However, it will incur cost for the additional instances created. Max unavailable. It indicates the number of instances taken offline or unavailable during the update time. Note, max unavailable value can cause downtime on our MIG if the value is close or equal to the number of instances in the MIG. The default value for max surge and max unavailable is 1 for zonal MIG and 3 for regional MIG. Let's proceed with the default value of 1 for max surge and max unavailable. Next, in advanced configuration, we have minimum wait time. This value sets the length of time to wait between two successive instance updates. Alright, we are all set. Now click on Update VMs. We can open the instance group in another window to view the instances being stopped and getting replaced by the new instances with the updated application version. Alright, let's now look at how to apply selective update. In our project, select the MIG Rolling Update Opportunistic Mode. Select Update VMs. Under New Template, select Application Version V2. Select the option of Selective Mode under Update Configuration. Select Done. Click Update VMs. Now, click on the Instance Group. Select one of the instance and proceed for Deletion. There you go, 
we can see that a new VM has spawned up as a part of the MIG with a new version of the application. Note that because we have chosen selective mode, the other two VMs will not be updated automatically. Check out the documentation to learn more about the proactive and selective modes in rolling update.